Onto the first leg then, a total of 1,286 kilometers, 21 hours of hard driving through the Kenyan countryside. The Safari Rally is unlike any other World Rally Championship in that there are no special stages. Each section runs from time control to time control. The organizers simply have set a target time. Anything above that target time means that you get penalty points. So one penalty point lost equals one minute. This is the incredible pipeline road, a straight road for some 60 kilometers. And in the aircraft, Ovi Anderson, the team manager for the three-car Toyota team, shadowing leader Bjorn Valdegaard. At the moment, it's dry. We've got rain forecast for the evening. But by the time the cars have reached control four, absolutely nobody in the top 20 has lost any points whatsoever. This is the time to drive hard and fast and build up the advantage. Remember, over open African roads, almost anything can happen. By Control 6, Buffalo Lodge, Bjorn Valdegaard with the two-wheel drive Toyota Celica Turbo had lost just 10 penalty points and led the field, but only by one point. In second place and chasing hard, Ewa Kankinen with the four-wheel drive Peugeot. They would come into their own, in theory, if we got wet conditions. But Kankinen, as you can see, taking things rather easily. There are plenty of traps to catch the unwary on these straight roads. Once again, the incredible pipeline road. And you have to do plenty of good wrecking to know that you can go this fast on these type of roads.